well love friends welcome to my channel thank you for liking commenting and subscribing take the notification bell when i post a new video you guys today is yet another day we're moving right along in the new year 2020 and i'm introducing to you acts of faith daily meditations for people of color or as i like to say it daily inspiration for black people well it's for all people but especially my black people the author is Iyanla Van Zandt and I'll show you the cover the author is none other than the queen the honorable lovely beautiful Iyanla Van Zandt you all January 11th inspiration for today we have an intro, we have a passage, and we have an exit or an outro. Let me also show you the page, you guys. Very simple. For those of you who love to read, it's a breeze for you. For those of you who do not love to read, it's just a page. It's just a page in a chapter of your life how many know that one year of your life is a whole chapter every day adds up to a month which adds up to your passage of your life and every day is also a new beginning like for instance yesterday i said i would eat more fruit and those things and today i want to eat more than i ate yesterday all right so Without further ado, let's get right into it. January 11th, today is regarding jealousy. How many of you have been jealous or how many of you have experienced jealousy and just like, I don't know where this is coming from. You experience jealousy from another person and you go on and like say, does a person know how hard it is to fill my shoes? Does this person know? what I've been through. Does this person know how late I stayed up at night? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. When you strengthen your self-esteem, there is no room for jealousy. This is written by Dr. Harold Bloomfield. Dr. Harold Bloomfield. I'll put a link in the description on who he is. Jealousy is the surest way to get rid of the very person you are afraid of losing. Hmm, it's true. When you say I love you, it means I want the very best for you, whether or not I am included. Hmm. You must acknowledge any feelings of jealousy to understand what they are. Jealousy is a signpost of longings in your subconscious mind it reminds you that what you are longing for is also longing for you there are only two emotions love and fear when jealousy comes up stop and recognize that it is actually fear raising its ugly head. Fear of losing someone or something. Fear that there is not enough. If you allow yourself to be jealous, you cannot love. Mm. It is important to acknowledge all your feelings and not beat yourself up for having them. Your feelings are not good or bad. They just are what they are. Jealousy is simply reminding you that you are worthy of the best. When you remember who you are, the jealousy will dissolve and you will be ready to receive what you want. I honor my feelings no matter what they are quick story here because of time I was in the kitchen with a group of friends and we were just looking at social media cooking fellowship and reasoning and those things and we came across a beautiful black woman 
her hair locks were so long like to the floor or to her ankles or her hair was long a lot of us was just like wow she's beautiful this and that then me i said oh god just in a happy spirited way i said oh god i'm jealous and one person says why you're beautiful i said no it's not that i don't think i can ever have my hair locks that long my friend said your hair will be that long trust me She's been growing her hair since she was a baby. You know, her mom started and those things. And then all this fear and stuff kick in. Like, what do I have to do to get the long locks and this and that and this and that. And why didn't I start sooner and this and that. And it was really fear. No matter how much fear or how little fear, it was really fear. But deep down inside, I, I look at myself and I said, you know what? I can make up my remedies. I can wash my hair properly, groom my hair properly, hold the mids and tell my hair your lung make my hair grow so anyhow it was a slight of jealousy not deep down inside but when I look at it there was fear somewhere you guys um, so if you want to get rid of someone be jealous be jealous and keep it to yourself because that person will feel a vibe things will happen you will say things you will do things out of the fear of jealousy that will push that person right away you know so um most importantly look at this look at this when you know someone is jealous of you or does not like you and uh, uh, is mean to you and you expect it that is one thing but when someone says they love you and then as soon as you turn around they're on the next side of town on the other line of their phone throwing your dirt right on your name throwing you under the bus just dragging you all around town that hurts that hurts mm -hmm. When it happened to me, I had to go home. I had to sit down and hold a med. And I just felt like giving up, throwing in the towel. Someone who you give your all to, you will take off your shirt and give to, your coat and give to, your shoes. You would give advice to, you would spend your energy and your time with this person. You would say you love this person and you mean it. You would say you want the best for this person and you mean it. This kind of thing, when it's unexpected, will knock you off of your feet. And that's on your left side. And then you look to your, your right side, your other side. There's someone who just passed away. There's someone who just um, got diagnosed with a sickness. There's someone who just lost their job and you're like, oh, this is going on at one time. Don't give up. The Lord did not bring you too far, so far to give up on you now. So hold your meds, think about it, get yourself back together. After you want to throw in the towel and want to give up and throw your hands up, don't do it. Don't give up. The Lord will never leave you or forsake you so you will want friends and family around you who will never leave you or forsake you and you want to also be that person for someone so let us just wrap this up right now for today all right with the exit the closing i honor my feelings no matter what they are Say it to yourself, I honor my feelings no matter what they are. I honor my feelings no matter what they are. No matter if they're good, they're bad, or they're ugly, they are what they are and honor them. Thank you for liking my channel. Thank you for viewing my channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and most, most, most very importantly 
thank you for commenting i love your comments i love to see what you are thinking i love to see how you are feeling so without further ado have a great day